Cast your cares off in pastels and tie your troubles in bows. Make a friend in fashion with Izzy and Coco. Yeah, this is the cute life. Welcome to Live the Cute Life. I am Coco. Now I'm Izzy. Today we will be talking about. Today we'll be reviewing Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Yeah, so what's it about? Well, it's a young adult fantasy book and it's about this amazing assassin, like world-renowned assassin in this kind of world. And she's an 18-year-old girl and she's in prison. A slave camp. She's like a slave camp and she's been there for a year and she's uh, serving out a lifelong sentence. She's going to die there. Okay, and now the king is looking for a champion and he's holding this competition. So different people from his kingdom get to uh, have participants in, in these competitions. And his son decided that she is going to be the, his champion. Yes. So he makes a deal with her, gets her out of jail in exchange for... He has to win the competition to be the king's champion and then serve him four years and then she has her freedom. And if she loses, she has to go back to the prison camp where Which, she will most likely die. Yes. Um, that's yeah. what the book's about, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about the book. So spoiler alert, uh, come, if you haven't read the book, check it out and come back. Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, okay, did you like the book? I love the book. I read the first one and I needed to, I just kept going and I bought the second book and I love the second book even more. Oh, okay. Good, I'm glad to hear that because I'm going to give it a chance the second book because I had a hard, I didn't hate, I did not like it, but I had a hard time getting into it. Really? I just didn't, I didn't feel like the characters were that well developed. There wasn't a, I didn't have empathy. For the main character, I don't know. I don't know why. I That's couldn't, interesting. Yeah, I couldn't get that into it. But enough, I still liked it. It's still, it's still like a fun adventure book, and she's kick-ass, and enough for me to read the second. Since you already bought it, <laughs> I'll check it out. No, I really liked it. Um, she's uh. Well, she didn't really get to show her assassin skills in the first book. Maybe that was the I feel like the, the first book was a world setting book. Mm, so it okay. says that the world is all uh, the king, there's this bad king and he's in charge. Yeah. And um, he bans magic so nobody can use magic. But lo and behold, he's losing magic to yes. control the population. Magic. And I think there used to be like fairies and other magical beings that have been like eradicated. Yeah. And there's kind of a hint that the main girl, the assassin S Selena, is other than human. Like she might have, that's what I got. I, I, yeah. We don't know yet. <laughs> <So> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I should ruin it for you because uh, I know what happens in the second book. So uh, I thought it was really cool. Um, I don't know if I'm like, my review is like of two books in one. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. I know. I don't know. Where I'm blurring between what happened in the first yeah. book and the second book. Yes, but uh, I really liked it. I like the tension between the love triangle between. Ah, Selena, you know I don't Kale like love triangles. That's Dorit. another problem I had. And uh, that's I don't know. She was just. I thought it was really cute. Like I put myself in her shoes and like, oh, these two guys are after her. I was like, yeah. oh, that's really cute. And um, when you could tell from the the guard Kaol he's like really he really likes her but he's like I can't like yeah. she's an enemy he's the king's guard yeah um, she's so, like a so an assassin like an enemy of the kingdom uh, pretty much so he's like no I can't like this this girl but he keeps falling in love with her and he's like so impressed by how she fights and how strong she is and stuff like that so I, I thought it was really cute and then in the second book it gets even better because um, in the second book they go into like the dark magic that the okay. king is using mm -hmm. and she's trying to solve the mystery and they show that she finally has like these fey powers and she is oh, Okay, so there's thing. more backstory about her. Right, and okay. not only that, I love the second one because there's r real romance in the second okay, one. Okay, that's another problem that I had. <laughs> not enough romance in this one. And there was a love triangle. I hate being conflicted. 
like, no, this is your one true love and that's who you're gonna worry about. And this is the thing about being another person in there. But so, she's still, for it to ha be a love triangle, how she managed it was very grown up and not whiny and like, oh, poor me, who should I choose? I like that. She didn't resort to, resort right. to that at all. And she pretty much, she cut it off with the prince. She's like, I could never do be with the prince. If I'm so, the champion. Yeah. So she cut off the prince for his own good, not even just for herself. And then in the second book, she's like, she goes all in with Kawa. No, wait, 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 what's wrong with you? Whoa. Oh. It's, it's, if not, you're not going to read it. You are not sold. <laughs> So well, it's really I remember good. we're doing the review of the first book, Oops, the sorry. second one. So yeah, we, we always say we do the first book. Oh, we include all of them? We do the whole series. How dare you? How dare you? I didn't read the rest of the series. Spoiler <laughs> oh. <Better> alert! <laughs> <laughs> so, I really like the second book. And I was looking forward to getting the third one, but then I saw there's like five books, and I was like, I don't have the time to sit down and just gobble all the other all three books, so it's on hold for now. Okay, but you definitely want to read the third book. Yeah, I definitely want to see what happens in the third book. Okay, well, now you said there's more romance in yeah, the second definitely one, more romance. then I cute. will check it out then. Yeah. I didn't hate it, I liked, I liked it, so it's enough for me, like, I, I will check it out. Yeah, and, and there's like cool elements, there's like hidden passages, she has to solve a riddle, she has a yes. like, cool best friend that's pretty kick-ass. Yes. Um, and uh, there's two good guys. The the, yeah. the prince is a good guy. The, and the guard, guard is a good the guy, captain. even though they're working for the for the king. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot like that strings that are so loose that I'm looking forward to figuring out. Okay, very cool. So I give it two thumbs up. Go check it out. Yeah. Um, my review and star wise, I would give it three. No, uh, you read threes. Yeah, I, I would read exactly. Threes. I give it a four. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thank you for hanging out with us. Um, please subscribe. Keep checking out our videos. Leave comments. That would be great to, if you liked it as much as she did. Or eh, like me. Yeah. So make sure to leave uh, comments below. And we'll see you next time. Ciao. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hi. Today we will be talking about... I was gonna say Game of Thrones, but no, it's Throne of Glass. Oh yeah! <laughs> by, by who? By Sarah J. Maas? Yes. So yes, today we'll be reviewing... I forgot again!